Have you ever been on a road trip and wondered, what if we are in Minecraft? The truth is, we can't really be in Minecraft because this is in Russia in the 1980s. There's only our craft. But with modern technologies, we can easily insert a Minecraft background that suits your taste. However, it is always the method that poses difficulties for us to do any visual effects. So let me show you a new AI research paper today that can produce stunning augmented reality effects just like what you are seeing here with just a few commands. Dynamic Sky Replacement and Harmonization in Videos, or short for Sky AR, is a really specific AR effects AI that focuses on replacing the sky with basically anything you want. This effect itself is pretty basic. It crops out the sky and replaces with whichever image that you want want by placing it in the background. Additionally, with some motion tracking, it is able to stick the image like it's the skybox, which is really accurate in some cases. It is the time that it reduces compared to manually editing them makes this AI appealing. Since this AI automates motion estimator, sky matting, skybox creation, and relighting, it makes creating any creative work a lot faster. It took my GTX 1080 around 16 seconds to process 30 frames of footage, which is relatively fast compared to manually cropping all those 30 frames. Unlike Snapchat's reverse sky effect, it is not only limited to changing between day and night, it does have a similar matting process, but this AI can manage any other image of your choice and also include a motion tracking to pin the landscape or the object in the same location. This AI learned how to accurately motion track the sky and remove them, but at the same time, it is only limited to its own trained data set, which is only the sky during the daytime. Furthermore, you can obviously see traces of lights that are on the edge of the matting, or mountains that are too far away and being treated as half transparent. You can definitely train one yourself and make it better or even train to match something other than the sky though. And this would definitely be very useful if it can be exported into different video editing formats and key points, but that sounds kind of impossible right now. <laughs> but if you get a little bit creative, you can find ways to work around this AI and create really cool effects like looking out the window of an airplane and changing its view. For more insightful information or an installation tutorial, I'll link it down in the description. And this video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you're looking for someone to build your app, visit and reach out at infinite.red. Big thanks to Mark Shvin and other Patreons that supports me through Patreon. Thank you guys for watching. I think my nose is really weird today, so my voice might sound a little bit off. Head over to my Discord if you want to share your renders or get some helpful tips on how to improve your renders and as always i'll see you in the next one